welcome back to the shooting channel and today we're going to go through some of my favorite stands at the british shooting show 2024 enjoy the video future world champions are shooting their first plays in vr right now now the shooting industry isn't known for being one of the most up-to-date and modern industries in the world but when i saw this stand i knew i had to check it out Okay, so we've come to Mega VR to test out their new Duck Hunter VR set, yep. pretty much. And from what I understand, this is going to be a new revolutionary product that we, basically allows people to shoot whenever they like. We tell people that a uh, few future world champions are shooting their first plays in VR right now. And VR is, is going to have a, a real place in, in the future of shooting because it's just too good for it not to. Every bit of feedback we've had today, just like with all of our reviews that we get from customers online, has been incredibly good. People are excited, people are surprised at how realistic it is until you actually try it. When you see it in 2D on a screen, it doesn't do it justice. When you're actually in the sim and you, you actually look around and your whole world is replaced with a virtual world, suddenly you realize uh, that it's different from any kind of shooting you've done before in, in, in games. The key points for this particular, for this product, is the adjustability of the stock and the adjustability of the weight and balance. So what we recommend customers do is to draw an outline around their real gun uh, and then lay this down over the drawing and adjust these knobs and uh, there's a couple of Allen keys as well. You can adjust the comb height and tilt, uh, the length of pull, the cast left and right, um, the uh, butt you can cast independently. You can change the length of pull, the drop at heel. Um, you can change your trigger position uh, and you can move both units back to make it feel like a longer forend. Um, and then it's got the, uh, the full weight kit as well, which I've got here. So with this, you can add up to these three boxes uh, and they've got weights underneath here. Uh, 15 gram increments so you can you can match your real gun in the weight and balance to within half an ounce we're using these uh, so that you can have the actual momentum the actual weight and heft of your real gun so that the training and the muscle memory that you develop in the sim transfers to your real world game i must admit it feels really nice i mean i'd love to have a go and try see how i get on absolutely yeah you're welcome to first feel delicious pretty darn nice well, yeah. That one is set up to be uh, a pretty standard kind of Beretta fit. Yeah. Um, 14 and a half inch length of pull, um, fairly fairly low uh, comb. But you can, you know, we've got skeet shooters who have the uh, the butt dropped as low as possible and the comb as high as possible, and uh, and they love it. So it's uh, it's a versatile product, is what we've aimed for. Well, 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 let's give it a go and see how it goes. Yeah, excellent. I can really see that is good practice. Awesome. Very, very good practice. That's the idea. It's, it's a lot of fun. We don't want to replace real shooting. We want we want it to be a supplementary training tool. We want to know that, uh, or we want people to, to go shooting more. Uh, because they're getting the practice at home, they're feeling more confident, they know that they're going to hit more, they're going to go and shoot more. Yeah. Well, I must admit, it feels like a great product, and if I had one, I'd be using it at the time. Imagine this way, and you would really replace you in. This is probably the best option, isn't it? Because I don't want to get wet. And it's a lot more expensive. Yeah, so. exactly. And sometimes I, I say I'm going to do five minutes before I go to bed and two hours later I'm still going. Yeah. It's just addictive. It's, it's, it's so much fun. So, well, thank you very much. Brilliant. Um, if you want to check these guys out, they've got a website on all their social readers and stuff. It's definitely worth trying. And I can really see stuff on this as taking off in the future. Yep. So, yeah, we believe so. Thank you. Great to see you. So we've now come to see Joe at Thornwood Forge. Um, we don't normally do things about axes and knives and things, but this is something a little bit different. Yes, absolutely. So we do quite a lot of different things with tool makers in general. But one of the things we brought to the British Shooting Show is a project we've been working on called Barrels to Blade, where we take old knackered shotguns that can't be used anymore, whether the barrels are too thin or they've got a cracked stock or whatever, and we turn them into knives. Fair enough. Um, so the idea being you've got granddad's old shotgun, it's got loads of sentimental value, but it's not worth really um, investing in re-sleeving it and all of that. But you can, instead of getting it decommissioned, spending loads of money to get it on a wall, 
we can turn it into a knife wick. So these are the barrels we've got here. Yes. Um, so we've got a few different types of barrels here. This is a Damascus barrel. Um, those are just mono steel barrels. Throw them with a couple of different knives. And we can use anything really. Uh, we can use any kind of barrel. Obviously the, the Damascus barrels, the Damascus comes out in the blade when we etch it, yeah. which looks really, really cool. So we use the barrels, we cut sections, split them open, uh, and use that to make a laminated billet for the blade, yeah. like this. So what you have is shotgun barrel on the outside and then high carbon steel down the middle. So we use a Sheffield made 52100 steel, performs incredibly well for knives. Uh, so we laminate those together so we get a single billet and that's what we forge our blade from. And I see these axes here as well. Yeah. There's some here that are a little bit different. So yeah. to do with a river and a chain link. You have to explain that a little bit more because I don't quite understand what's going Yeah, on. no. So uh, these two here, so these are laminate axes. Yeah. In the same way we made laminate knives, mm -hmm. you can make laminate axes. Yeah. So the main body of the axe is made from wrought iron. And then we fire weld in a high carbon steel cutting edge. Mm -hmm. That wrought iron comes from the River Thames. Nice. So there were chain links holding down buoys in the Thames. And each chain link is like this. And then we make the main body out of that wrought iron and then fire weld in a piece of 80 CRB2 to so the cutting edge. Nice. Well, I thought you'd enjoy that something a little bit different. As I said, we don't normally do axes and knives, but when I saw about these barrels being repurposed, I just thought about the amount of scrap shotguns we have to get rid of. Um, and the stocks we turn into the handles. Amazing, look at this. So, so that's been stabilized. So you can choose to have it either stabilized or not stabilized, but feel the weight difference. Oh yeah. So when you stabilize it, you replace all the airspace in the wood with resin. Like and that pre prevents the wood expanding and contracting to some extent, which could be really useful when you're getting wet hands and things like that. Like that. Um, so we use the stock for the handle, barrels for the blades. Yeah, so if you've got a granddad or lost a granddad and you have a shotgun to, you want to turn in something you can actually use and not scrap um, or spend stupid amounts of money re-sleeving, maybe the next solution is turn it into a knife that you can hand down as a family heirloom. That's it. That might be the next next step mine it rather than trying to take out an old battered side by side 100 so yeah well joe thank you very much more than welcome uh, thanks for coming by thank you okay so if you've watched some of our most recent videos you've seen about shots and company um not only do their bottles look like this which is pretty much self-explanatory they look amazing but the liquid inside the most important part is actually very nice as well so i'm with doug Morning. we're going to go through some of the stuff that we've got on offer today at the shooting show and also speak about the raffle that we're doing at the shooting show with this lovely bottle of gin. So Doug. So morning everybody. We have our um, luxury slow gin and our, uh, our 10 year old single malt English whiskey and our newest product, which is our um, luxury salted caramel vodka, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and our unique shotgun cart shaped bottles. So you have the firing cap, the crimping on the bottom, and uh, our label is to simulate a hand engraved of side plate of a shotgun. This is our second year here. Second year here, we're very glad to be here and working with these guys, of course, at the Shooting Channel. Um, and this uh, rather special bottle is gonna be in their raffle. Amazing. Well, again, if you guys want a bottle of this beautiful gin, they can go to the Shops and Couple website. So thank you very much, Doug. Thank you again for the price. Thank the you. Um, I hope it goes well for you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so we've been working with SWATCOM for a couple of years now. Um, thank you very much for supporting the channel for as long as you have. So I'm with Keith today now, and we're at the British Shooting Show. Tell me a little bit about SWATCOM. Show me some cool stuff. Tell me about all these new, beautiful products you got. Is, I like the new um, hat specifically. It's nice, isn't it? It's very nice. Well, I buy one. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah SWATCOM is Talking Headsets, my company, our company and Slotcom is our brand. So we used to just distribute other people's products and we still do that and do it well. But we created the Slotcom brand 20 years ago, mainly as a product that we sold into the offshore market. But that evolved into what we see today in the hunting and the shooting market, a very big market for us. Um, probably half of our turnover goes into the hunting and shooting. And we sell it globally. Around yeah. <clears throat> so flagship product, we activate digital electronics, manufactured in partnership with Sordine in Sweden. Mm -hmm. It's a military spec product, 
So it's as good as you can get. Yeah. And it's achieved by some of the you know, world's top shoes. Of course. I won't know yeah. drops if I forget some. Of course, yeah. yeah. And these are exactly the same ones that we wear on yeah. the channel all the time. So exactly I've had a pair of these, the carbon ones, for Carbons. kind of, well, it must have been three years now, and I've had yeah. absolutely yeah. no problems. And they've been worn every single day, shot yeah, with every day. They have a five year warranty, and we've never charged anyone for a repair on them. Exactly. And, you know, some electronics go wrong, but yeah. it's bomb proof. Yeah. yeah, yeah, And the sound reproduction is as good as you can get. Mm. So that's what people yeah. like. Yeah. So it's been a very successful product, and it's been sort of in the flagship of the sort of brand into the hunting and shooting market. Yeah. But over the last Tell three or four me. years, we've <laughs> introduced more products, mm -hmm. more passive products. For example, the SC11, new out now. Really launched the show today. It's passive, it's got no electronics in it, it's purely a sound block. So it's really going to be really popular. Amongst oh. the so, if you're stood next to that forge for that long where they're doing all the banging, like you can probably hear, yeah. you need to pair of them basically. Yeah. 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 So, nice. it's great, it's a sound blocker. Yeah. Really good for trappers. Yeah. And we've got new products coming through later this year. Um, so, we're not sitting on our hands. There's lots no. of new products to come in. Yeah. The accessory side of it with the range bags. We've got medium large range bags, gloves, caps, ski vests, leather range bags. It's all evolving. Yeah, but so you've really gone from one product that we started speaking about yeah. and started selling to, to all of this. pretty much turning into a yeah. gun shop. <laughs> well, and also, <laughs> like you've got everything you need. This is one side of our business, so we do a lot of communication. So the Great Britain rifle team that are going to Palmer to the World Championships in two weeks, Every one of them wears activates yeah. and they all wear our communication systems as well. Amazing. So the whole team is kitted up with SWAT car. Yeah, nice. Well, Great. again, thank you very much for the support. Thank if you. If you want to buy anything from the SWAT com website, code TSC10, not only does it get beautiful people like Keith sales, but it also helps us a little bit as well. Good. So any products, anything like that, go on the website, buy everything you want. And obviously you don't even need to buy your skeet vest from anyone else now. You can just buy your bag, your gloves, headsets, absolutely anything you want. So, Great. thank you again, Thanks, and we'll see you soon.